What up brothers, it's a Clipper King returning for a uh, full review on the figure you see in front of me. It's the I'm Mini Me Charlie Chaplin figure and it's been lent to me by Wyman at 1-6 Bruce. So uh, I'll start off by saying me uh, massive thank yous. Wyman has lent me this, if you remember a few months ago he lent me sort of a uh, promotional version. He also lent it to Dean Knight just for us to uh, make some videos for Danny Kim and just show the figure uh, as it stood at the time. Like I said on the video I made overnight, the figure that we received were on a very loose feeling body. The neck joint weren't complete. If I remember rightly, it was sort of blue tacked on. Same with the feet. Uh, but I think the outfit was just about complete. And I think the head sculpts were just about complete as well. Uh, there were no box for it and the chair wasn't built. So what I have now is the complete figure uh, as it would be sold to you guys. And like I said also in the other video, the last time I spoke to Wyman, he had five of these left in stock. So if it's a case that you do want this figure and you do like what you see here, you could pop across to 1-6 Bros and pick this beauty up for a really reasonable price. So like I said, massive thanks to him. And I, I always say this and I, I always sort of bang on about it. You think about it, to lend somebody, I've never met Wyman in person as it stands, I talk to him regular, I text him regular, but for him to trust me with the things he has trusted me, it does mean a lot because it says that I'm a stand-up guy and he knows, and, and it also says that he knows it and respects it. So it does mean a lot to me, more than the figure's worth it means to me, if I'm honest. Uh, so yeah, like I said, as you can see as well, I've got the uh, rotating turntable, Anybody who's interested in those, uh, if you've got a local model zone, I think they used to be about £13. They're now in the closing down sale, and I picked that up for £9, and it works really well. Uh, only thing, if you listen to it, it does have a bit of a sound, but hopefully my voice will drown that out. But it just gives a good way. Certain things, poses, I might not need it, uh, but I just think on something like that, it just changes the light on the figure see as you see it coming round and obviously you can see the figure from different angles so if I just wanted to stand like that you can see the figure coming round and catching the light so yeah beautiful like I said nine pound at models on those so uh, I've wanted one for a while and I thought uh, it will help some of my displays out and I might actually pick up another one so it is going to be a full review I am going to be tough with it because um, that's how I am now with the reviews. I'm going to score it fairly. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything because the figures come to me sort of uh, as a lender sort of thing. I am going to say my honest opinion because I think you'd lose respect if I didn't. And like I said, I will give you the uh, final thoughts because I've noticed in the past that the scores don't really represent how good I think the figure is. So... Um, I think while we're in this position, I will do the source material because there's not a lot I can say. Uh, basically, to cut a long, basically, to cut a long story short, I don't know a lot about Charlie Chaplin. I am familiar with him as an image, so to speak. But the honest truth of it is, I've never sat down and watched one of his films from beginning to end. So, for me to score the source material, I could be very hypocritical and put the score straight up and just say he's an iconic character, which there's no doubt he is. He would be considered probably the sort of godfather of modern movies. Uh, but, like I said, I can't score it up if I don't know, because somebody's going to come back to me and say, well, I saw him in The Tramp and I like this scene and I'm going to look like a fucking idiot and say, well, I've never seen that film. But that is the truth of the matter. So that is going to affect the material... Uh, the score I give it on source material. Uh, but like I've said, on the flip side to that, as an actor and as a respected movie icon or legend or whatever, I would have to sort of hold my hands up and say, yeah, if everybody else says he is, then I've got to go along with it. And like I said, of his time, he would consider the best and the funniest uh, and so on. So I would have to give it a decent score. But like I said, I'm toughening up on these scores. So I'm only going to give it because I can't rate any of his films, I was going to mark it down and just give it a one. But on the flip side, because I do know he's an iconic figure, I have moved it up to a two out of five. So some people might say, fucking two out of five for Charlie Chaplin, but it's more down to my knowledge of him than the actual star himself. But uh, like I say, he's iconic without me knowing too much about it, and that's just as it is. 
So I'll put a short uh, pause in here and uh, we'll move on to the next category. Moving on to packaging. And as you know, I normally breeze straight through this category because there's not a lot to say. Pretty much the Avengers, which are coming out thick and fast, the standard packaging, so it's not really worth harping on about them. This, on the other hand, is something totally different and really eye-catching. Even in the pictures when I saw it, I thought, fucking hell, why has it come with that? But when you get in hand, it takes you to another, another level. You think to yourself, they've gone that extra yard. They've done something that even Parcel Force couldn't fuck up as hard as they tried. What it is, is like a laminate box. So it's similar material to sort of the low end laminate flooring that you would use for your kitchen or bathroom or whatever. If you listen, it's, a, it's not wood, it's like a, a pressed wood, a laminated wood, and it's fucking awesome. It's still quite light in weight, so it won't put the shipping costs up too much, but it, uh, it is really, really nice. It's something I've not seen before. I mean, I've had some really nice boxes through the collecting I've done, but this is just another level. Like I said, to batter them corners, you would have to hit it with a fucking sledgehammer. And I don't even think Parcel Force do that yet. That's uh, that's next year's remit. So, yeah, you would struggle to fucking arm this box, which is good because when you think of the price of the figure inside or the price that the figure could rise to, it is reassuring to know that it's in a fucking indestructible box. Another thing that's a touch of class is this laser-cut stainless steel image or silhouette and if I can get really close yeah try and show you the depth of it really really nice like even the fine cane it's detailed and I say it really stands off and you can really shine it up but then on flip side it does hold your fingerprints as well so a really nice touch um, other than that there's no wording on the front turn it around to the back and again It's, uh, it's wood, or not wood as such, but like a pressed wood laminate sort of thing. Premier Collection, Chaplin 1-6 collectible action figure, then a, um, an autograph, symbol down here, and then who's done what on it, the yeah, I Mini Me there, and the uh, ZCWO, or ZCWorld.com.co.uk. Um, .com.uk Fucking hell, I couldn't get any words out. So yeah, really nice. Um, tip the box back because I think the rubberized shelving will hold it while I open it. If I look inside... Whoa, don't you fucking dare fall, you solemn bitch. Inside, you met with this figure shot. Really nice. Whoever's posed it has got it in a really nice natural pose. One I'd be proud of myself, and one I might uh, pull out later on. It's just like sort of a small slip, uh, really nice, and then it's foam inside. Let me get that more secure because I do not want this taking a fucking nose dive. Looking down, head sculpt. I think that's supposed to be Rain Man, but there's a typo on there. Unless it really is Ranny Man <laughs> who's done it. And then obviously, on and on, who's done it. Producer Danny Kim and Simon. So, yeah, another touch of class. We pull the level of foam out. And then the next one's foam housing as well, where the figure sits. Packet of jelly beans. They're delicious. Don't forget to eat them. And you do get a spare pack as well if you're extra hungry. So don't forget to uh, share them with your kids or whatever. They're delish. Moving that one out, like I said, there's a cutaway. Or like I said, there's a cutaway. And then the chair's in there spare hands and he's standing there so yeah no signs of the plastic clam trays it's all foam it's all well done and it is a really really nice package and you, like i've said before the package gives the illusion if you were to show it to your friends to fucking look at this i bought before they even look at it they think oh that must have been expensive and uh, i do like that in the packaging so i am going to give it a full five out of five right Moving on to likeness, just switched up the pose, gone to the new goblin stand, and I've got that turning on the uh, turntable. Just wanted to sort of get a pose as if he's doing some kind of slow motion uh, spin on one foot, like a, a dance or some kind of ballet style movement. Um, I am going to stop that in a minute so we can get close on to his face 
have a look at his expression because that was one of the strong points when I um, when I reviewed the pre-release version so that's what I'm going to do but I do like that and from a distance obviously you can't see the uh, the pole as much uh, and it would look nice surrounded by other figures just to have one rotating it background I think it's an idea I might run where you can put a, a rotating figure central down every uh, every shelf of the cabinet I think it could be a good look but anyway onto this review so yeah that's what I've done so if we move in and I can just stop that there getting nice and close onto the face still looking beautiful awesome sculpt and awesome paintwork now I will say I spoke to Wyman actually other night and I'd already received this and he asked me what I thought and what my comparison of this one uh, this version to the pre-release version were and I said the only noticeable difference were the tighter body and like the completed body should I say and then on the head sculpt I actually thought that this one had stronger paint than the original one I think the sort of the contrast between the skin and the uh, white face paint is more stand out on this version. So obviously the the versions that you guys would all buy would be same as this. Nice and strong paintwork. But the the sort of the downside from the original one that I saw is the gloss on the eyes, or I thought, but the light from the camera is sort of making me look like a fucking idiot because on the original one, something I really liked about it and something that really made me emotional towards the figure were the fact that men in particular, and this is going to sound a little bit gay and a little bit like you might be thinking, fucking, what the fuck are you on about, Clip? When my men start to cry in a film, it's more, I think it's more stand out than when women cry. Women cry because they fucking... They come across weak in general. You can watch most soaps and every week a fucking woman will be crying about summer and it's it's normally overacted. Now, when a man cries, there's summer more noble about it in a funny way. You know he's going to cry, but you know he don't want to cry and he's going to try his hardest to fucking hold it back. The prototype of this figure caught the eyes perfectly, like no other figure I've ever seen. They were, they were glossed to the extent that it looked like he were welling up. He were about to cry, and it got like an internal fucking sadness, and I'm going way, way too deep here, but that is what I saw in the original one. This one is slightly less so, although when the camera lights hit it, let's have a look what we can fucking do here. When the camera lights hit it, it still does look as glossy as the original one, so I could be wrong, and it has happened before. I have been wrong once before, I think. I think I can remember it, but it doesn't happen very often. But yeah, I might have to take back my word to Wyman. I don't know now, looking at it through the viewfinder. But what, however you fucking slice it, or however you explain it, it's a fucking awesome likeness. And you definitely can't question who it is and the job done. Now, I would class this as a sort of a production custom so it's like dipping your toe into the custom market now that's about as far as i would go into the custom market simply because i can't afford the top end figures so like the uh, patrick bateman would be a little bit too rich for my blood although it looks awesome the rick grimes and daryl uh, would be a little bit rich for my blood now denny kim phoned me now and said rick i want you to review me them figures i'd be fucking all over it like a rash i'd be like yes fucking please send them my friend just so I can see what a top-end custom figure looks like. Now, I think this is a top-end figure for a really reasonable price, and that's how I would describe it. But like I say, I'm probably moving on a bit too fast here. I'm going to score the likeness, and I'm going to give it a very, very easy 5 out of 5. That's probably no surprise to anybody, but that's what I've got it. And I think... If you could see it in hand, I wish you could see it in hand, because then you would make sense of what I'm trying to say about the depth in the eyes. It's got some uh, that I don't think another sculpted, painted eyes figure has got. There's just a depth about it. Moving on to outfit. As you can see, I've changed up the poles again. And I've got him rotating. Just 
just to show you it's the old way around him got him on his own stand this time so it sort of grabs him under the crutch got him holding the cane in his right hand balancing himself one foot crossed over the other and his other hand on his hip so we'll uh, crack on about the outfit uh, I've got two little niggles with the outfit I will stop it from rotating in a minute and uh, talk you through it I'll just let you have a good look at the pose Two little niggles, uh, I'll point them out. But all in all, the outfit is fucking amazing. Really, really well tailored. Really, really top class materials. Reminiscent maybe of the Blitzway Scarface. Everything feels in scale. Nothing feels bulky. It's not creased to fuck. I haven't steamed it out of box. I just think the, uh, the suit fits it. Just really nice. And you're going to see like it rucked up here, but that's sort of because it's got the... Uh, the grab stand, uh, the crutch grab stand on it, where normally I would have put it with the pole behind, but while it's rotating, you can see the pole, so yeah, I left it off. So I'll just stop that and bring it around. Let's have a look. So, starting at the bottoms, got the sculpted shoes, which are fucking awesome. They're oversized, like he wore. Um, the really well weathered for you 3a fans just scuffed up nice pattern can see the uh, sculpted stitching the lace underneath there you can see the lace is actually it's like a separate piece but it's glued on it's glued onto the um, the shoe you can see that and then I'm just put these trousers out of way a minute Seeing there, the lace is sort of stuck on, so it is a separate piece. Now, one of my first nitpicks is this. It's got sort of a... It's got an ankle peg, so it gives you really good articulation. But the ankle peg is that small or that narrow, you can't get the sock to sort of pull down and stay sort of in the shoe kind of thing, you see. So nearly every pose you do the socks pulling up the leg and leaving the fleshy coloured ankle joint exposed that's a little nitpick it's nothing it's nothing major but it does happen all the time and it seems to be because the trousers like here because the trousers only just fits across top of his shoe pull it up a little bit and you can see that but then look the sock starts there can you see it I just wish the sock would stay underneath the ball joint sort of thing but like I say that's just a little niggle just turn it back round the trousers, like I said, really well tailored, really good material. If I get in close, we'll see the, the pattern. One thing I noticed as well, no threads or no shit like that hanging off this, like we sometimes get with the Hot Toys. Just looks like somebody's gone gone through the figures at the end before they've shipped them. So cut all them loose threads off. There's no bits of fucking stuff draggling about. So yeah, and that's probably because they don't run as many figures in a line as Hot Toys or Enter Bay would do, so they've probably got time to uh, to check all these before they leave. Again, the jacket complements the trousers really nicely, but it's broke up by the uh, checked brown and blue waistcoat, which is a really nice touch. And then the uh, cut of the jacket does show you that. Collar, the tie, which is a nice red. That catches the light really nice, and again, really uh, highlights the outfit. Got the Batwing style collar, with the tie going round that you can see around there. Coming down again, the sleeves tailored really nice, so we do see a little bit of cuff hanging out, which I do like. Which looks very smart. Not so much on that side because his arm's bent. But then the micro buttons and stitching is fucking awesome. So, really good. On the fabrics used, really, really good. I would have given it a 5 out of 5, other than, like I said, the little niggle with the socks riding up which that would have been an easy fix and probably if it were my figure I would have pimped it out and made it so them socks would have stayed inside but I, I don't do anything detrimental to figures that aren't mine so uh, like I say it's just a little niggle because I've caught it in a few poses and I'm thinking fucking I can't get that fucking flesh coloured ankle to disappear and the other one is it would have been nice if there were a way that you could have had him without the hat as well because the reason I say that is because the sculpt on the air is fucking amazing. It's just awesome. The curls in it and everything. So I would have thought if there were a way that you could have took the hat off and put another air piece on, or I don't know, the hat would have fit onto his hair like a changeable 
like the Indiana Jones sort of thing where you can like have him with his hat or without and then you could have done him sort of I don't know balancing his hat on his cane or holding his hat in one hand and the cane in the other just uh, would have sort of give you more pose options but it is a sculpted art it does look good and the scale looks good uh, but it would have been nice if it come off so I am only just going to knock it down one point and give it a four out of five moving on to articulation and no rotation this time pretty much got him on a pose I've gone I've moved on from the uh, like I said before the glazed eyes and just gone for a uh, heartbroken pose obviously the uh, films or silent movies so to express feelings you would have to uh, over exaggerate your actions and I just feel that um, that's what I've gone for with that pose could probably bring his head around a touch in the end as well and get his cane hanging off his elbow like a gent would I do like that pose, pretty natural looking. Obviously, if you want him really depressed, you could have him dipped, sort of like that. So yeah, uh, articulation. It is um, obviously it's not a true type body, but it is a very similar copy. Uh, feels a little bit looser than a brand new true type, but not as loose as the one that originally came. But it will go into. Uh, will go into any pose, he'll put arms above heads, hands together, his legs will do anything, pull up, go into a crouch, obviously sit on his chair, so everything you would need him to do. I feel that the body over time will become loose, although that would be down to over posing, but as it stands brand new out of box, it is a really good body, it does feel tight, does hold poses, and um, yeah, there's nothing to complain about, I'm glad, it, like I normally said, there's no join, just under the jawline, the neck joint is down at bottom, uh, good shoulder articulation and the outfit doesn't uh, hinder it at all. So uh, yeah, there's nothing really I can mark it down for. Like I said, the ankle joints are a little bit thinner than a true types would be, so be careful with those. And like I said, because of the thinness, they don't hold the sock in place. They could have probably done with one of those, um, like the spongy feel. Uh, gasket that goes around the ankle to hold the sock in place but it hasn't got that so I'm not going to worry too much about it but the articulation because there's uh, nothing it can't do I've got to give it a 5 out of 5 which is easy I am uh, fair with that it can either do the pose or it can't and this one definitely can but yeah like I said articulation 5 out of 5 moving on to accessories as you can see, I've got him pretty much with all his accessories just in one shot. I will uh, take him off and show you the chair in a minute, but I just wanted him uh, pretty much using what he'd got. The cane, the chair. I'll come down here, you get this... Um, you get the Charlie Chaplin base. It's just a black plastic, very similar to what the Hot Toys stands are made out of crutch grab stand which I don't like if I'm honest I think this figure needs a waist grab because of obviously the trousers are supposed to sag low but that just keeps pushing them back up so it makes the trousers look very unnatural I don't like that if it were my figure I'd fuck that off and I'd swap it with a figure that has a uh, waist grab stand because then you can sort of put it underneath his waistcoat or underneath his jacket and you won't see the stand no brainer that um, but like I said and then it's got the stainless steel Chaplin with the uh, signature there, which is a nice touch, different to the stands we normally get. The hands, he's got a relaxed left on, a tight grab for the cane on the right, and then you get the various poses to hold the cane with the right hands, just so you can put him in sort of different poses. That one as well can grab his hat, sort of thing. And then a relaxed right hand. Left hand, he's got a relaxed one on. This one's sort of more spread. I don't know what he would hold with that. Bit more a, a gesture, I would think. And then this one sort of looks like it's going to hold a gun or something else. But like I say, again, it doesn't really hold anything that it comes with. Possibly the chair or back of chair or something like that. You will notice that every hand comes with an hand peg. They do feel a little, brick, a little bit brittle compared 
uh, to the Octoys ones, but uh, I haven't broke any. And they are not tough to get in, but you you know you're dealing with that hard plastic stuff. It's not the soft rubber hands that we sometimes get. So yeah, the cane, nice detail. It does actually look like a cane. I sculpt and paint work. And then the chair. On the prototype one, the chair wasn't built. So for the sake of this, I'm gonna take him off. I just put him, put him up floor. Like he's pissed up and he's fell over. And the chair is now built. Really nice, standard looking chair with the uh, ornamental legs sort of thing. It's not wood, it's it's plastic, but it's like you sort of feel a grain in it kind of thing. What I would say is, if you do get it, handle the chair with care because these, look at that, barely touching them. They're a fucking snappage waiting to happen. So yeah, be careful with the back uh, spines of the chair sort of thing. But really nice well crafted and another thing is it's balanced so when he sits on it don't feel like he's going to tip off so not much bit thin on ground that's probably reflected in the price because it is a lot cheaper than not toys figure although i feel that the price will go up when when it sells out um but i've got to be fair and i've got to be honest i can only give the extras a two, and that were generous too, if I'm honest. I were gonna give it a one, and then I saw, sort of, mm, but the chair's nice, the cane looks real, and you have got a decent array of hands, and they did try and make an effort with the stand. Um, although the stand is all as well. A little bit cheap feeling, but at least they made an effort, and it's different to an Hot Toys one. So I have just bumped it up from a one to a two for extras. Right, on to value. Um, like I said, I think the price represents the lack of items you get with it. Um, and it's a confusing one because I'm pretty much concentrating on Hot Toys and Enter Bay price at the moment. So when something comes along like this, that's a little bit cheaper, I think, is it worth it? Now, the way I looked at it is, like I said at the beginning, it's sort of dipping your toe into the customizer market. So I think round, I think it's round 130, 140 pound. Uh, maybe shipping on top of that. I think it's a good entry level price Because I think with the short amounts that they put out the customizers I think it could be worth that very soon uh, worth more than that very soon And also like I said before when you compare it to the other prices coming out even just from our mini me Figures round three four hundred pound you start to say well, why isn't this one worth that as well? Um, so the value I'm pretty sure Wyman's got it in for 140 150 somewhere around that mark I'm not sure if that's shipped or the shipping on top of that I couldn't tell you um, yeah, in the current market you're looking at something like the same value as a Black Widow figure will it I don't think it'll command the sort of value that Black Widow will instantly, but I think over time it could be a could be a classic figure. I'm not too sure. I'm a bit vague on this one. What I will say I like about it is when I watch YouTube and I look at people's reviews, a lot of people's collections are very, very samey. And by that, I think most people have got some Avengers. Most people have got some Dark Knight stuff. Some have got the Terminators, some have got the 89 Batman sets, some have got Predators uh, and other DXs and other lines like Iron Man and so on and so forth. But there's certain figures you very rarely see, namely Carlito, the Godfather, uh, the Michael Jackson ones. And their figures are like because it keeps your collection an individual. And this is a figure that I think will also do that. I think you will be sort of get some little bonus points for having a bit of taste if you were to get this figure um, because a lot of other people won't have it. Now, why personally wouldn't I pick it up? For the simple reason is I don't know enough about the source material. If I were an avid Charlie Chaplin fan, I'd have picked it up in an heartbeat. If I were setting up a shelf of movie icons, I would pick it up in an heartbeat. If it were a figure like uh, an early Marlon Brando 
or uh, Robert De Niro or someone along that, I could put it on my gangster shelf and it would look in place. So that is the only reason that I don't pick this figure up. But I can't, I can't fault those who do. So the value, I'm going to give it a five because it's quite a lot cheaper than the recent figures that's come out. Um, no, sorry, make that a four because it, had it been fully loaded, I would have made it a five. I'm going to make it a four and give it an all over score of 27, which is a really reasonable score. Um, compare it to some of the recent figures and you realise... It has got a couple of uh, weak categories, but it's also got a couple of strong categories, namely the likeness. The head sculpt is fucking amazing. If uh, if for no other reason to pick this figure up, I would say the head sculpt is worth a look because it is fucking beautiful. Uh, not much more I can say other than massive thank you again to Wyman for letting me see this, um, for letting me see the completed one, should I say. Like I said before, the box is awesome. The piece is awesome. Could have done me a few more things, but I don't know what them things would be. Uh, maybe a change of outfit, I don't know. Um, like I said, a reasonable score. I also want to say, if you watch this review, the poles have been a little bit to vanilla, which is unusual for me because I normally try and get a little bit extreme. The reason I did that is because I've already done a video of this figure and I'd like you to go back and watch that because there's sort of a showcase section on where there's more poses. So I thought I don't want to do too many extreme ones because I've done it all before sort of thing. So go back, find me other video of the I Mini Me Charlie Chaplin. Have a look at that, please. And uh, you can leave your thoughts on either video. But for now, this is a Clipper King and I'm out of here.